Trinity. Hey, what's going on people? It's your boy the G-Man and Jess. I am finally back with another edition of 5 Minutes with the G. Oh my god, I've been on a two week hiatus, but I am back now. But before I get into the topic this week, I just want to send a big shout out to the PT family members. So shout out to the Straight Shooting LJA, Jesse Fizzle, JBK and Nathan Arsenal. I know that over the last week we've got we've had loads of new content from the likes of Straight Shooting LJA and JBK. So go check that out, people. And you know, whilst you're checking it out, also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, please. Come on. We're trying to get to a thousand, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel share it with your friends get them to subscribe yeah and also turn on the notification so when these videos drop you will be the first to be notified okay so this week's topic is to take the knee or not to take the knee and as you can imagine this topic has been rough and bubbling for the past eight nine months you know ever since its introduction at the tail end of last season with the, the whole George Floyd blowback and the internet players, you know, wanting to show their support for um, the fight against racial discrimination and police brutality, you know, organisations jumping on the bandwagons, you know, the general public jumping on the bandwagon and it, it really took the country the, and, the, and, you know, effectively it took the world by storm, you know, everyone it just seemed like everyone in every different country there was some sort of pop-up of a Black Lives Matter movement and people really trying to speak up and get their voices heard. But since then, you know, the football organisations over here have decided, you know, to carry on, you know, taking a knee to um, for basically project the image of showing support for um, the Black Lives Matter movement or not essentially not the Black Lives Matter movement but you know just for racial equality um, and the fight against racial discrimination some people will say nothing's happening anyway um, you know they, they, they look at the cases like with what happened with Ian Wright being racially, racially abused by a 14 year old Irish kid and him bit the kid getting acquitted even though he admitted to you know direct messaging Ian Wright and raci racially abusing him and you know we've seen countless numbers of cases pop up in the, the you know past week of players like William, Martial, um, Ivan, Tony, you know all these players um, being abused on their social media networks. I don't know there's like some sort of frenzy now after every game there's an incident like supposed fans want to you know essentially abuse their own players or abuse opposing players and what makes it even worse is the fact that social medias um you know the platforms they're it's like they're not taking it serious like with racism they don't want to take no actions to ban racism it seems like you know what i'm saying they don't want to take no actions at all you know for me, the simplest thing that they could ever do is have some sort of verification, you know, um, associated with your account, you know. Just like when we set up our email accounts and we set up other accounts out there for various other platforms, you know, to prove who we are. So basically, we can hold our own accountability for anything that we do. Do you get me? That's how simple would that be if they just done that and you know what i believe has been the best outcome so far of players taking a knee is the fact that we are now having these conversations we are having these conversations regularly you know we're having these conversations week to week we've got players talking about it we've got managers talking about it we've got you've got myself sitting right here right now talking about it okay and i'm you know, trying to levy a debate around it. You've had the LJA do the same thing on his podcast, and you've got many other people doing the same thing on their podcasts, on their shows, and all sorts of yeah? And then you've got people who have taken the knee, they've jumped on that bandwagon, you know, and they're, they're not seeing change themselves. Now they're feeling quite demoralized and thinking, well, you know, well, I've been doing this and nothing's changing, still getting racially abused online. Now, 
they're getting heard. They're putting their voices out. I still believe taking the knee is so important because once we take the knee away, it's radio silence. Once you ain't got, once we haven't got that symbolic gesture there, what do we have to keep that 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 flame alight for the conversation to happen? That's my argument, you know. And that 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 is a bigot's perfect um, play. If we were not to take the knee at this stage, if we were just to abandon it, you know, it's gonna be of the same effect as taking the knee. Yeah, no change is gonna happen, but. It's gonna be no changes happen with radio silence. Do you hear me? There is gonna be no conversation. Where's the conversation gonna come from? Who's gonna talk up? You know, you're not gonna get people that are upset with people taking a knee. So there's not gonna be that that now that conversation now of oh yeah, why why were people taking a knee? You know, you know, you're not gonna get people who are taking a knee taking the knee and speaking up about racial injustice and if they're not talking about racial injustice it's like oh there must be no racial injustice so it's 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 um it's a double-edged sword in, in my opinion alrighty then people so now I've got a question for you do you agree with taking the knee or do you disagree do you want the players to stop taking the knee or do you want them to continue taking the knee um do you believe that you know, taking a knee helps in the fight for um, racial equality and um, the fight against police brutality. Or do you think it, it doesn't do anything at all? You know, just drop your views, your comments in the comments below, comment section below, and yeah, you know, we get the big people. Just try and keep it clean. You get me? Anyone that's ignorant out there, you get me? If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. This is all about an open debate. So please share your views. If you d disagree, like you, you know my thoughts, I, I, I think I think what I think, you might think what you think, but if you disagree, you know, come with a compelling argument and then we can debate it out and have a proper conversation. But you know what? I'm done now. I'm gone. I'm finished. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and watch some football or do something. So it's your boy the G man. I'll check you later. So peace. Yeah.